So, it finally happened. I got 555 subscribers, or 555 subscribers. So I'm gonna make a video dedicated to the 555 timer, which I conveniently have right here. I'm gonna show three oscillators and uses of them that I currently use them for. Alright, so the first one is a square wave generator, which is used in my ignition coil driver right here. I don't know why the spark is so small, but when I turn it on, you can clearly hear that, but see that? Let's put it closer. Yeah. And it makes this tiny spark, which is stupid. But yeah, this is one use I use the 555 timer square wave for. Another use for the 555 timer is a triangle wave, which we're seeing here. Which you can obviously see is in my PWM circuit for this sound system. So it basically just dims the light or makes it brighter. That's here. I'm not bothered to take it out, so I just showed a separate circuit. So here it is. And with this, I can adjust the frequency. Although it's not very symmetrical. As you can see here, the rise of four times is just not linear. If I change the channel to, it shows a PWM. Yep, you can of course use a 555 timer for PWM. You can also alter the frequency, like that, make it lower. Make it higher. It still works as PWM. And here's another thing the 555 timer can do, which I haven't actually shown you guys yet, is make a sawtooth signal, so... Look how perfect that is. Just move the wires out of the way. Look at that. That is quite a good sawtooth signal, eh? And then, of course, schematics will be posted in my community tab if you want to see them. And this is just another PWM circuit, which really just functions the same. Not really much else to it. And this is all that it is here. It's just a small design. I'm mean, this potentiometer or trimmer here is used to adjust the frequency. I'm not going to do that because I have to undo this heatsink and I'm really not bold today. Plus I have school in like a day or whatever, so yeah. But this is a 555 timer dedicated video. So that was just to celebrate 555 subscribers. Thank you guys for the support. And maybe I'll make another interesting dedicated video to a certain component when I reach another... Um, another goal. So yeah, stay tuned for that.